President Obama is in California to host a summit meeting with Asian leaders, and that event is being overshadowed by Justice Scalia's death and also the political fight that is sure to come when the president chooses a replacement. I plan to fulfill my constitutional responsibilities to nominate a successor in due time. Now, there will be plenty of time for me to do so and for the Senate to fulfill its responsibility to give that person a fair hearing and a timely vote. Margaret Brennan is traveling with the president in Rancho Mirage, California. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Well, White House officials expect a nasty battle with congressional Republicans who have already threatened to delay or defeat any nominee that President Obama picks. But history could be on the administration's side here. Since 1900, six Supreme Court justices have been confirmed in presidential election years. That could spur President Obama to make a bold choice of a very liberal judge who'd face a tough confirmation. Or, sources say, the president may choose a less controversial sitting appellate judge in order to win some Republican support. Some names that fit that bill, Chief Judge of the Court of Appeals Merrick Garland and two past Obama picks for the U.S. Court of Appeals, Jane Kelly and Sri Srinivasan, both of whom have already unanimously passed Senate confirmation. Now, White House officials say it would be irresponsible to leave this post on the Supreme Court vacant. And Nora, you should expect the president to make a decision in the next 30 days, possibly as soon as next week. We will be watching. Thank you so much, Margaret.